Hello everybody, Robert Rambles here, and welcome to World of Warcraft Retail. It has finally happened. Today we are beginning our Balance Druid leveling campaign. And of course we are going on a Night Elf. Part of my goals for this character, I have a couple of different goals in mind. Um, you know, firstly, like always, I want to have a nice relaxing time leveling up in Azeroth. Uh, other goals, I want to get the Night Elf Heritage Armor. And I want to collect a bunch, if not all, of the new druid appearances. They look really amazing, um, and I think finally it's time for me to have a druid. So yeah, thank you guys for clicking on the video and for being here. I really do appreciate it. And I hope you are all doing well today. We are just going to go with some, you know, standard night elf starting area leveling. And after we complete the intro zone, maybe we'll pick one of the time walking campaigns to do. I kind of want to stay away from doing the cataclysm zones. Obviously, this is technically a cataclysm zone. Uh, but I want to stay away from doing most of the cata zones, you know, because we're going to eventually have cataclysm classic. And we're going to be able to see the zones as they originally were. So I think for this one, you know, maybe we'll do legion time walking. Maybe we'll do uh, warlords of Draenor or time walking. You guys let me know. If there's anything specific you'd like to see, and we will go from there. Let's do a little bit of housekeeping and get some of our settings set up properly here. And so we're starting off with the basic Wrath Hurl a Ball of Energy at the target, dealing 11 nature damage. For those of us not familiar with the class, and I'm one of those people, I will be reading all of the abilities as we get them. I'll also be reading the talents and kind of looking at the talent trees to see what we might want to do. Not following any guides right now, we're going to read the talents and we're going to pick ones that seem good for us. Alright, so level 2 we got Moonfire. <clears throat> a quick beam of lunar light burns the enemy for 4 arcane damage and an additional 34 arcane damage over 18 seconds. Good luck, Let's grab this quest here as well. Hello. So we're going after some Grelkin. They have Fel Moss we need and we're looking for some stolen bags. Surprisingly, I have never done this zone after the Cataclysm. I was not a big Alliance player back in the day. And I realized that the way they've reworked these quests is actually new to me. And now the question is, do I, do I want to throw this down and open with this? It might be a good idea. To get it ticking as soon as we can. At this level we might not even really need it, but we might as well get practice with it. I like the animation a lot.
Peace be with you. All right, at level three, we got regrowth. Heals a friendly target for 50 and another 12 over 12 seconds. Let's do that. I should probably also get a couple more action bars going on here. There we go. We got an additional bag slot, and uh, I'm pretty sure it automatically equipped it. Uh, no, we didn't. We did not get another bag. For some reason, I thought we got a bag. Uh, level 2. 2 armor. It's a little bit of a different look, but the stats on it are the same. Looks like after all this time, Ivoron is still getting poisoned. He doesn't look very good. We are going to collect some ingredients to help him out. I will point out that uh, in Classic, these are not aggressive. Well, in Wrath of the Lich King, nothing here is aggressive, but it looks like they put some aggressive mobs back into retail in the starting areas. I wonder when that happened. What is nature's call? And now we need to kill 12 Webwood Spiders. It was nice how she ran up and like started to help us. But I, oh yeah, she's gonna stick with us. Maybe that's why they're aggressive, because she's gonna help us out. We also got a spell, Entangling Roots. Roots the target in place for 30 seconds. So a little bit of a CC. Not sure if we'll need crowd control while leveling up, but we may.
Maybe I should turn sound effects up a little bit. I can't really hear the casting effects. And this being the first episode, you guys feel free to let me know if any of the sounds need to be adjusted up or down uh, for the best listening experience. Let's try that. Uh, this is not the way to go. I always, I always do this. Even in classic, I go the wrong way. Let's jump down here. I don't know, maybe she'll follow us. If she doesn't follow us, I'm sure she'll catch up eventually. Yay, there she is. And now we're going after Githis. So I'm glad that we didn't leave the cave. This one we have to actually make our way up and around. So I'm pretty sure... I think we can go this way. And then if we hang to the left, that might lead us up. Now, I don't really need my health and mana bar here underneath me. I wonder if I can get rid of that. Let's see. I suppose it would be under interface. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not really sure what that would fall under. I will have to look that up. Yeah, I know there's a way, and I used to know how to do it in the old interface options, but ever since they changed the interface options, I haven't been able to find a lot of things. Maybe if we look at health. Personal resource display. Let's turn that off. Maybe that will do what we want. Oh, there we go. No, hide health and power bars. That is exactly what we needed. Oh, she teleported us right out of the cave. It, it's interesting at like low levels, none of the gear has any scaling. Like you get a new piece, but it, it still only has one armor on it. I wonder why that had to happen that way. Greetings. It must be weird for like a new player. Like they're like, okay, I got a new piece of gear. It says it's a higher level, but it only has a single armor on it. <laughs>
goddess bless you and you need light your hand. Goddess watch your hand. And now we get to run to the top of the big tree. You know, I think I want to turn the in-game arrow navigation off. Yeah, that's going to be a little bit more immersive, both for me and probably for you guys too to look at it. And just like that, we are leaving Shadow Glen and we're off to Dalinar. Oh, we have a buff on us. The Winds Embrace. Embraced by the wind, slowing at fall speed. I was wondering why we were taking a strange arc. That makes sense. And we got the going down achievement. Because of course we did. My goods are of the highest quality. Farewell. Alright, Zen wants us to find two Night Saber Fangs, two Strigid Owl Feathers, and two Webwood Spider Silk. I feel like all those numbers have been significantly nerfed. Oh, and I realize, um, well, I mean, we got cat form. So there's our basic cat form. Um, it comes with Shred. Which is cool. Now I'm going to be focusing the playthrough on, on being a caster. Kind of want to see how it feels to level up while casting, but it doesn't mean we won't check out some of the, some of the other forms. I'm really shocked that I, I guess you get, um, you get cat form in retail now before you get bear form. Back in the day, you always got bear form first.
Oh, they, they are automatically equipping bags. I just did not have it set to reveal all the bags. Hmm. There we go. Now we can actually see what bags we have equipped. There's a flight point here in Dalinar. Yep, I guess that does make sense. Collect three fell cones. Retrieve the emerald dream catcher. Can I assist you? Seek out Garrulus in Starbreeze Village. Spoiler alert, I don't think he's alive. What brings you here? Till next we meet. Good luck, friend. Be careful. And we ought to make this our home. May the stars guide you. Greetings. 
things. Good luck, Freddy. May the stars guide you. All right, that is a breadcrumb to Darnassus. We're not going to do that one right this minute. Uh, let's let's search the area for Felcones, and then we'll head over to the east. While we're down here, we might want to come down and check this quest out, since we are pretty close to it. Um, apparently he does not have a follow-up for us, which seems a little bit weird, but, um, okay, yeah. I mean, in Classic, you do all kinds of stuff for this guy, but in this one, he does not even want to say anything about what happened. A little bit strange.
it seems like for Moonfire, like, I don't have to be facing the enemy. And I thought that any offensive spell, you had to be facing the enemy. But Moonfire, I seem to be able to do while running away. Which can lead to some interesting kiting, apparently, since we never run out of mana either. Yeah, I'd, I'd say the quest marker is a little bit off <laughs> for this. Just a little bit off.
Del Nadris. Greetings and goodbye. I am listening. Good luck, friend. It looks like now we've unlocked our bear form. That is our default bear form. And that one starts with Mangle. Peace be with you. Go in peace. Alright, so next, let's head all the way over to the east. And we'll start taking out the Gnarlpine Mystics. And we're also looking for Talankai's Jewel. I realize that when you're in cat form, your movement speed is simply increased by 30% at all times. So even if we are not going to be using cat form to fight in, it really makes sense to go ahead and use it to travel in. So we'll do that so we can pop in and out of it.
right, with that one done, I think the easiest thing to do is going to be to hearth back to town. So let's go ahead and do that, and we'll turn this one in. Guys, we still have quite a bit to do here in Teldrassil, and I am interested to see where the Druid class takes us, especially once we start getting into the talent trees. But I am going to take a break here for today. Thank you guys very much for joining me. If you are digging the content, leaving a like, subbing to the channel, ringing the bell, all of those things help me out immensely, and I greatly appreciate those that do. Until next time, guys, take care of yourselves out there in the real world, and take care of each other. And we will see you back here again very soon. Bye for now.